guys, what is up? See, I'm Vlogs here. I just got off a shower and it's currently Wednesday. Today's video, we are doing how to make a milkshake without a blender. Let's do this. Okay. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a milkshake with no blender. This is an easy hack I learned. So... If like the power goes out at your house and it's like hot and you want a milkshake, I'ma show you. Let's grab our materials. Alright, so first you need a cup, an ice cream scooper, and a spoon. I'm gonna get into all these and why you need these materials. Now, first you wanna grab your favorite ice cream. Now for me, I'm using Friendly's Fudge Swirl. So you're going to want to take your ice cream and you want to scoop out as many scoops as you want. I'm going to fill my cup up and I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, so I put my ice cream already in the cup. I basically finished off the whole container because there isn't that much left. So I'm just patting the ice cream down. Leave some area for the milk. Now, I'm going to show you what to do with the milk. You're going to... Grab your milk. You can use any kind of milk if you don't like real milk and you're like a soy milk or whatever. You can use that too. You're going to pour your milk into your milkshake. But you want to have some areas. So I'm going to do this all one handed. So you're going to want to have some areas for the milk to go down. So I'm just doing this real quick. So once the milk's all down, I'll come back with what to do next. Okay, now that the milk's all down, you're going to want to have the milk sit in the ice cream, and then after you're just going to want to twist your ice cream with your spoon that you got in the beginning of the video. So first, you just want to mix this up and make it oops, into, I'll be right back after I clean this mess. Okay, sorry guys, but back to what we were doing. You're going to want to mix your ice cream up, even the bottom. So it can be like a milkshake consent, con milkshake form. That's the name. So I'm just going to twist my spoon around until I have it to like the milkshake form. And I'm going to show you guys the after. It may spill. Because I overfilled my cup, so. so I'm just gonna mix this up real quick and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright, I had to get a bigger spoon because the other one wasn't mixing it, so I'm just gonna mix this. And this is better than using a blender and wasting some of that electricity. So, like, say one day the power goes out and you're like, oh no, I was gonna make a milkshake. How am I gonna finish it? do it in a cup so I'm just gonna mix this up and I made this once so I decided to show you guys how to do it so you're gonna wanna mix it up Now that's all mixed, it should look like this. The spoon would. So it should look like this, it's like a milkshake form. So this is how you make a homemade milkshake, guys. No blender needed. Still comes out like a milkshake. with your flav favorite ice cream flavor in it. So, this was a really good success. I think this came out really good. And if your milkshake's not the way you want, you can either add A, a little bit more ice cream, or a little bit more milk, and have it the way you want. So, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll come back with the outro.